Hey everyone, before the video starts, I just want to give a few quick announcements. First off, I'm back, so that's nice. Uh, I know it's been a while since I last posted, and I plan to hopefully change that relatively soon. But, what better way to come back than with not only a Locked in Mind major update with two new levels that I will be playing, obviously, this video and the next one as well, but also... It's Steam's Puzzle Fest, I believe, as of the time that this video is getting released. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. If you have anything to thank for me coming back, then I guess there's your things to thank. Now, with all that being said, on to the video. Enjoy. Oh yeah, and one more thing. If you are just here for the walkthrough aspect and you're looking for answers to the puzzles, there are timestamps in the comments down below, and also there may be chapters. So if you really are just looking for the answers to the puzzles without the other stuff that I do throughout the video, look at the comments below, and the timestamp should be there. Okay, now enjoy. Hello everybody, my name is David, and welcome back to Locked in Mind. Now, if you've been on the channel, you would know that the last time we played this game, went pretty well. It was this level, uh, actually, right here in this little top right. But since then, the developer has come out with a major update, adding these two new levels, a train and what looks like a stage of some sort for a play. I didn't look at it too much, I'm not gonna lie. I wanted to go into this fresh and without, you know, spoiling any of the puzzles for me. So we're basically just gonna get right into it. If you haven't watched the last episode, by the way, go check that out. The last level was the last episode. So, yeah, go watch that. It'll be in the link in the description below at the end of the video or in the top right, right there. And with that being said, hopefully... Oh, oh, yo. Okay... Okay. Okay. Okay, so. Oh, God. Okay, give me a sec. All right, that's good. That's a lot better. Sensitivity is way too high for me. Okay, well. This room looks fun. Ooh, okay. Oh. Oh, okay. I can put these down, right? Yes, I can. Good. Um. Okay, nothing in there. That's a really cool feature, being able to look through the clothes here. That's really sick. Okay, so we got a one. Oh. We got a makeup? container maybe some sort of cream um all right let's once again assess real assess assess okay numbers numbers four okay so we got two interesting we got two four did oh we got two four digit numbers so far um, one three-digit number. We need a key for that. Can I open you? No. We don't have a reflection, so we're a vampire. Got it. Um, I think that's... I think that's it then. Okay, so we got two four letters. Two four letters or numbers. I didn't check, actually. That one's letters. That... Oh, shapes. Interesting. Okay, so we got shapes, letters, and... Numbers, right? Yeah, numbers. Okay. You. Yeah, I don't like the eerie sound coming from this door over here. I'm not going to lie. That's a little creepy, but okay. Um. Hi, sir. You got anything for me? Oh, there's more clothes over here. Okay. Three. Got it. Three. Okay. Six. Can I put that down? Oh, I can put them down in different places. Oh, I can match it up, though. Um, 
So six would go. Yeah, six three one because that's wait right because that's like a straight line. That one's the yeah six three one. Hell yeah. Screwdriver. You. You. Oh, that's actually a lock. Wait, hold up. Can I jam this in the door? No. Um. Here, I'll put you down for now. Wait, this was a lock, though. That's an actual lock. Okay. Three numbers. Okay. I can work with that. Uh. What? Stick it in the eye slot. Okay, I can't stick the arrow in the eye slot. I guess we're putting you down too. So we have... And then we have these hats too. Can I put you... Can I put you on top of the... Nope. Okay, maybe not. Okay, you're also going on that apparently. What do I do with you? Do I put you on you? No. Do I put you on you? No. Do I put you on you? No. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Anything else in the trash? No. Uh, anything else over? Over. Clock? Nope, that doesn't do anything. What about these books? Any one of you that I can... Any one of you that I can mess with? Pull out and have a secret door hidden underneath? Can I... Oh! Oh! That's... That's openable. Wait. Oh, no. Wait, wait. Can I use the screwdriver on it, then? Because it was only... No. I can't. Okay. So some of this stuff only glows if I have something in my hand. So, screw, 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 drive. Maybe the arrow? Maybe I stab the mannequin? No. Okay. Well. Can I open you with the screw? Oh. Oh, I can open that. Oh. Well, I was going to try and get inside the cream jars, but apparently not. Okay. Diamond, triangle, circle, circle. Diamond. Yeah. Di diamond. Diamond. Oh, it turns this way. Okay. Diamond. Circ. Wait. No. Diamond. Triangle. Circle. Circle. Hell yeah. Last cream. Which goes exactly like that yeah I had 975 so I get a sword now that's sick nine seven five hell yeah do I get to oh oh all right hold up let me just put down my sword real quick yeah okay Alright, so the next clue is the sword. Or at least the next something is the sword. Can I just hack open this thing now? Or can I break the mirror? Nope. Can I just hack you open now? What about you? Can I break you open? I feel like I could do a lot with a sword. I'm just saying. Um, Stab the mannequin. I actually do stab the mannequin. Okay, cool. Great. What is this? Key. I'm assuming it's to this and not to the... Yeah. Oh. Boat, the giving tree, a clown, and a shoe. A cowboy boot. Sorry. Oh. Oh. Okay. Wait. Um. Boat. Sailor hat. Oh, I can put them back. Oh, okay. Okay. Boat. Tree would be the jungle dude. George of the jungle. And then we got a cowboy boot. And then the silly boy. Oh, hi. Thank you. Does this... Welcome to the theater. Oh, 
Ha, hi. You're wondering why you're here, but don't worry, life is infinite. The real question is when we break up. Take a look around. This cardboard set may seem unimpressive at first, but it holds the key to a world of wonder and imagination. We're here to rehearse for a play, and you're an essential part of it. The knight and the baker on stage require your assistance to complete their quests. So get ready for the rehearsal, and let's begin. Uh... All right, let's move on to the next scene. Your next task is to talk to the knight and the baker on stage. Oh, this is so cool. Okay. What's good, knight? I seek a golden crown to present to the king, but I cannot accomplish this feat alone. Will you assist me, brave adventurer? Together we must gather the necessary materials, melt down the precious metal, and shape it into the perfect mold. Our success will be remembered for ages to come, and I cannot do it without your help. Um, sure, bro. Sure. Um, okay, okay, this is catching me off guard a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. So, I'm assuming the arrow goes here. So, we have, okay, three numbers. First thing we gotta do is get the crown. So, we have three numbers, a key. Um, I'm gonna need that. Uh, three numbers, a key, and can I, oh, I can walk through that. Oh. Okay. Barrel. What is hay bale barrel table? Got it. Okay. Oh, this is the exit over here. Got it. Okay, cool. Neat. Oh, I can't go up there. Not as neat, but okay. Table, barrel, hay bale, barrel, table. These are all three here. So that's another thing. But I don't see any more, like, locks over here. I wonder, target practice. All right, you know what? Screw that. I'm just going to go get the arrow. I'm going to start this whole thing. What is that? I'm not going to question it. Get the arrow. Get the arrow and shove it in the crossbow. And then shoot the target. Oh, we also have a letter cipher. So that's going to be fun. Bullseye. Wait, no. Okay, K. One, two, three. Four. Okay, got it. I mean, wait. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> my memory's not the best. Uh, okay. I think I got it. I at least got the first one. F. Oh, that's for the the letter code on that lock. Okay, so it's F and then it's down one more and that's the Okay, got it. So it's F P C L F P C L F F P C L I L? I got it wrong. Okay, wait. K F P wait. Uh wait, that ha that's right though, right? Cause if it's K looking at it from this way. Then it's oh, unless it's a different order. Um, F P C L. So it's a combination of one of those, I guess. Um, F P C L doesn't work. So what about L L P C F C F. LCFP. I don't know what to. I don't know what to make of that just yet. Um, that's the metal I'm supposed to melt down, or that's what I'm supposed to put. The can I talk to the baker now? Hello, adventurer. 
As the King's Baker, I have a favor to ask you. I'm in a bit of a predicament as I have to make a special loaf of bread for the King's Banquet tonight. However, I'm short on time and require an assistant to help me with the task. The bread must be sweet, with a unique twist. And it requires precise measurements and kneading. Can you please help me with this? I promise to reward you handsomely for your efforts, and the king will be most pleased with your contribution to the feast. You must work quickly, so please let me know if you're up for the challenge. Sure, buddy. I'm so up for your challenge. I'm assuming I put you... Okay, well that's burning now. I'm assuming it has to start with F. Or maybe I'm wrong. You know, I'll just try it, whatever. I'll just try and brute force my way through it. C L Oh. Hey, I got it. Nice, cool, I got gold. I kinda just brute force my way through that, so. I'm happy. You happy? I'm happy. Do I just... Oh no. That makes more sense. Stick you in here. And I stick you in there. Let you heat up. And then... You put you down. Oh, I need a mold now. Where do I get the mold from? Um... Where do I get the mold from? Because that's ready now, but I'm assuming that won't matter until I get the hay bale barrel table. Is that what that was talking about? Over here, what do you mean hay barrel? Bar hay bale barrel table. I'm not allowed up there yet. Wait, but that's the mold. Also, the clouds move. I just realized that. That's pretty cool. But that's the, that's the mold. Can I jump? I can't jump. Okay. So... I don't believe there's anything else in here. So... Oh. Oh. Hi. Hey, Baker, is this what you need? For your... Is that flour, I'm assuming? Flour? Um... Oh, wait, that's a grain, like, masher, or whatever. That's a grain mill, or whatever you want to call it, right? Okay, right, so it's not for the flour, because I'm assuming the flour is already ground, so... Um, am I sure this is numbers? Yeah, that is numbers, for sure. Um, I'm really confused as to what the uh what this means hay barrel hay bale barrel table am i just looking for it in that in that um what's it called because then it's over here but what do i do with that can i set you down real quick yeah let me set down that molten gold real quick Maybe I need to put wood in you. Do I need to put wood in you? Nope, I need to put bread in you. Which makes sense when you think about it, but... Okay, I'm just going to analyze again. I'm going to summarize. So that's the mold that we need for the crown. And then we can get the knight. In order to get the mold, I need to find a key. So maybe there's just a key around here somewhere that I'm missing. Or there's a number combination somewhere so I can get into this chest so I can then get the key. Either way, I'm looking for a key. Or I'm looking for something to make bread with so I can get whatever the baker has to give to me. Which is not the best sign, but I mean, I did find some random shit over here. Maybe I can, 
Hmm. The only other thing of three that I can think of is this, which is the hay barrel, hay bale barrel table. But I don't know what that hint exactly means. At first, I thought it was something where I was like, oh, I can jump up onto that to get up there or something. But that's not how that works. But the only thing that I think I can do here is open this. So if I open that, which is three letters or three, three numbers, if I open that, maybe I'll be fine. Uh, but I don't see any correlation between the... Oh! Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. I can count the number of barrels and the number of hay bales, and I can add them up. So, hay bales is, hay bales is first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Let me double check my math. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Okay. Let's try this. Seven. Let me set all this to zero again. Okay, seven, and then it was barrel. Yeah, it was barrel. One. Two, three, four, five, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. Okay. Five. And then tables. There's one, two, three, four, five, five tables. Was that it? Got a pitchfork. Sick. Okay, cool. Did I get hay from that? Oh, no, I can search through it. Okay, sick. Hell yeah. And... I'm assuming this key... I'll try the well first, because I also need water, I think, to make the bread, but yeah. Okay. So you go to this, right? Yes. Which allows me to grab you. Can I jump off? I can jump off. And I didn't break my ankles. That's nice. And then you go in there. And then I get a crown. And I'm like, yo, knight. Thank you. Thank you. I try. I really do. I try really hard. Oh my god, that scared me. I thought this was a person, but it's just the hook on the chest. Now from here, I can open the well. Which I need... What's in here? What is this? Oh, flour. Or wheat. you do I jar you up now oh okay sick yeah well, I'll be right back let me bake your bread for you thank you thank you thank you I know I'm a genius I'm just so smart I'm so amazingly smart so beautifully intelligent I think this is the end then, right? Did I... Is that the end? Or... Oh, there's more. Oh, there's so much more. I'm not complaining. It's really cool. But oh my god, there's so much more. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Three numbers. We got three numbers. And... Oh, I'm searching through stuff already. So we got a key. Can I put you down real quick? We got three numbers, four numbers, 
Three numbers, four numbers. We got symbols on the books that I'm assuming correlate to something. That's for the key, I'm assuming. Um, what about you? Anything in you? No. We can pick those. No, we can't pick those up. I lied. Um, okay. So we have a four number, four digit, three digit, and a key that goes to... We have two keyholes, I'm assuming. Is that two? Seven. Got it. Okay. Keyhole. Um, trash? There was something in the trash last time. I'm assuming not now, though. Um, seven. We got seven for the middle one, at least, I believe. Seven. Seven. Okay. We got one key left. We have painting that I can interact with, maybe? No, not painting that I can inter interact with, maybe? Nothing in that trash can. Three digit, four digit. We need a bench, apparently, and we need another key. So, there's also this weird, oh. There's more things I can search through, too. Interesting, okay. Um. Okay, so those I can look through, these boxes, but I don't see any more now that I've looked through these three. Is that some? No, because I can't get to it. Unless I can search through other things, too, and I'm just missing it. But I don't believe that's the case, so. Telephone. Can I call someone? Can I phone a friend? Is that something I can do? No? Okay. Got it. Um. Wait. Okay, so there's four bookshelves here. And there is this four-digit code right next to it. So if it is per bookshelf, maybe it's... The number of books that are marked. So it's like one, two, three, four, five. Uh, five, three, one, two. Five, three, one, two? Five, three, one, two. Nope, okay. Maybe it's the matching number of books on each shelf. So, two matches there, one match there, zero matches there, I guess, and then zero, so two, one, two, one, zero, two, one, zero, zero, nope, okay. This has to mean something. Obviously, the books mean something. But also, there's this stool here, and I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do with that because I don't know where I'm supposed to get a stool. Where would I even, like... Am I supposed to steal it? Is there somewhere I can steal it from? I don't really know what to do here, if I'm completely honest. You know what? For my sanity and for content's sake, I think this is the first time I'm going to use a hint. Count the number of books on each shelf. So do the symbols just not matter? The symbols are just to throw me... Oh my god. That really is it, isn't it? Five. Five. Uh, seven. Five, seven... Five seven seven five. Five seven seven five. Oh my god. The symbols didn't apply to the first thing to open this. Whatever. 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 It's fine. I'm kinda mad that I used a hint over that, but whatever. It's fine. For my for my sanity, I guess. That's okay. Um Okay, and this is the three-digit code. So what the fuck is the seven for? Whatever, I'm not going to ask questions. I, I feel like I've been thrown off the trail too many times to be asking this many questions. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Four. 
two, five, four, two. Five. Okay. Hi, buddy. Can I? Oh, I can. Got it. Cool. Neat. Wait, is that the end? Also, is that... What is that? Is that like a mini toilet down there? That is! <laughs> That's a tiny little toilet down there. That's pretty funny. Is this the end? Wait, but I... What the hell is the 7 for? What's the 7 for? Uh, okay. It, um. Okay then. Well. Sick, I guess. Um, cool. Nice. I guess I, I did it. I did it. Uh, that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. That was okay. I'll let I'll let the credits play, obviously, because everyone deserves their fair due. They did a great job, and then I'll say my piece about this entire level because I got a lot to say. Is that it? I think that's it. Yep, that was it. Okay. Well, first off, let me once again turn down the volume real quick. Well, that was cool. That was really cool. That was a great level. Great level design. Three huge rooms, or three rooms, one of them being huge with a good amount of puzzles and it even made me use a hint even though it was like at the stupidest time because I just, I needed to count the number of books. Now I will, I'll first I'll do my overall review and then I'll say my piece about that last room because I have no clue what happened there. So, basically this entire level was great. The first room that it puts you in puts you into a easy enough puzzle to solve and then moves you into the harder ones on how to get stuff going. It was a great design, by the way. And whoever did the, uh, like, whoever did the voice, that was really cool to hear a voice in this game for the first time. That was pretty sick. So, all the different puzzles, the different mechanics, having um, certain mechanics do certain things was really cool. There was a bunch of different new gameplay type things like it wasn't just keys and locks it was also like the arrow being shot into the target and dropping the target sign seeing that behind it the letter cipher the um what's it called the making the bread with like the grinder like that was really cool aspects to see in this level and it was really well incorporated with the story of it which is surprising that i can say that there is a story behind this level because a lot of puzzle games don't do that so that's really cool um and with that being said i'm gonna now get into some of my uh critiques which i don't have many so that's a good thing one thing i will say i don't really understand like i didn't really understand how to cipher the letters like there was that letter cipher with the target and everything but it wasn't very clear on how it should be ciphered. So maybe I'm just a complete idiot and I got that wrong and I just didn't see it. But for me, there was no clear way to tell how to cipher that. I kind of just brute forced my way. Like I obviously did get the code and the correct letters that I needed, but I there was no way to put them into order or like put them in what order it was supposed to be in. So if there was a way to do that and I just missed it, let me know. And I will, you know, gladly take that back. But for now, that's one of my, like, little critiques. And I guess my other critique would not even really be a critique. It would just be a, like, I'm kind of 
like questioning it, I guess. It's more of a question. What the hell was that seven for? Like the, I got that key. I looked through that. I got that key and it, like I open it. There's a seven there. I still don't know what the hell that seven was for. If it was to throw me off, you did a good job. Cause I don't know, like at first I thought, oh, it's in the center of the paper. So it goes in the center of the three number thing. That makes sense. But then there was nothing else to correspond with the seven. So it was just there. Um, but overall, that was really cool. If it was, and I mean this, if it was to throw me off, that's a great mechanic. But also, it kind of led to me using my hint, so I'm kind of mad about that. But it's okay. I promise, I don't promise, but I'll try my best not to use a hint in the next level, which will be in the next episode. So, with all that being said, great job on that level. Um, everyone who played their part played it great, and... The level design was great. The puzzles were awesome. It made me use a hint, so that was pretty cool. And overall, 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 on the entire thing. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. If you liked it, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Go check out the links in the description below. My socials will be linked down there along with this game if you want to go play it for yourself. So go check that out and wishlist it on Steam. Play it, whatever you want. It's a great game. I would highly recommend it. Speaking of which, if you want to see me play the second level, which I will be doing pretty soon, make sure you do hit that notification bell so you can see when I post it. It should be coming pretty soon here, so you won't have to wait long, promise. I'm really looking forward to it. Now, with all that being said, I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.